Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Blender Tutorials. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your basic settings for texturing. So let's get started. So first of all, um, you need to turn on this add-on called Pi menu, which is you can where you can find on the add-ons and type Pi here. And there's two options that you need to check the Pi menu for 3D viewport and other ones for the UI um, Pi menu official. So what did, what does it do is pretty much mimic the hotbox that in Maya. I was a Maya user so um, basically I really I really uh, like the design the idea of it. So drag and drop. So there are two buttons that meaning that the were used the most. So the Q and to the tab. So the tab is where it gives you uh, the direction where you want to go, like the sculpt mode, or you want to go to the edit mode, or the object mode. Very easy, just drag and drop. So the Q, and another one button is the Q button. The Q button is giving you the, um, the view, uh, which is one like top view or uh, right view. You go to the isometric view. It just really helps you to um, fast in your um, the work work efficiency and that sort of thing and it just really helps you to speed up this process okay so this is the first one I want to do and the second one I want you to do is go to the use user preferences and go to system and change the color picker type to the square one because the default one's a circle but you need to change that to the set church in a value one uh, the reason I use this is because um, it's more straightforward. Like if you create an image, uh, let's just create a black image here, right? So this is like the cube with a black texture right here. Um, I've yeah, this is the square one, the saturation of value one. So the reason why, why I want to choose the square one is because I want to pick the color. The color that I pick is what I see on the screen. So it's very straightforward. Because there are um, the other option, which is circle, is like you need to change the. I would just check. I would just change that to the circle one. So this one is like I mean I don't I, I don't personal against this one but it's fine but you know it's just really annoying that you have to constantly change the slide to get the the saturation right and I mean it's not very for me it's not very handy to pick colors but you know it's all about the personal taste I prefer to use the square one well, there's nothing wrong with the circle one. Okay, that's the one that you need to change. So remember, on the system, in the color picker type, change that to square, and set your vision, and value. All right. Um, so the next one, and you need to set up your brushes. So the brushes in Blender is kind of tricky because it doesn't use the, uh, the preview brush stroke. So it uses curve. Um, there are like a there are six types of default settings for you to use, but um, personally, I recommend you to just use two. And like those three, uh, those six are fine, but I would rather just set up my own. So you know, if you guys use, I've got used Photoshop, and you will realize that the number nineteen standard brush is really common to use. So if you think about, I will explain how this works. So this square one on the left is the center of the brush, on the right is the edge of the brush. So on the vertical axis is the opacity. So if you drag this point and all the way up to the top, that means 100% um, not transparent. So you drag this in the middle is a 50%, so it's all, all up to you. So the number 19 brush is always like, it's, for, it's like drag this point right here and it gives you a really solid like feeling of the brush. So if you turn on the strength after one and then 
draw this line. See this this brush that's kind of feeling is that one you get would get like in Photoshop. It's like the standard brush. This is the one one of the brush that I normally use a lot. I, I use it a lot. Okay, so another one is a softer brush, like very simple to drag this point down to here. So in the middle of the brush is kind of transparent and it goes up to uh, goes down to the um, to zero, the fade out. So in that way, your brush is very soft. It's like a spray brush, air soft airbrush. It's like airbrush. Cool. So normally, like use this brush, I use to um, blend the color. Like if I have two colors, I just normally start painting those two colors, and I get some bit of a green. I mean, purple. It really gives you a really nice blending and feeling. Cool. All right, that's the third one. The last one is I want you guys to set up is. Um, here, go to the third view, then the texture mode, and the project paint. So by default, as uh, you can see, this is 80 degrees. So this one, the normal one, that's the paint most on faces point towards the view. So if you set this to 80 degree, might be maybe lower. I'll explain why. There are some faces you can't do. Let me just turn this off. There are some faces that you can't paint on your view. So if you do this, like if the degree um and this and the angle is too small, if the angle is too small, um there are some areas that you can't paint on your view. So that's what cause some problems. So you need to turn it up to ninety degree. Uh, ninety degrees that you pretty much um you can paint everywhere on your screen. You won't have any problems with those areas that you can't paint. Right. Okay, and then the last one is the bleed settings. Two pixels is way too small. You need to set up the bleed to up to eight pixels. So the reason why this is uh, is always uh, two pixels is really small, and you if those two faces have um, like a gap in the middle on the UV. So you will have a problem to get this like black having this black seam in the middle. So if you do that, if you zoom out a little bit, you see there's like a kind of um black seam in the middle. It's kind of annoying, but if you see this bleed up to eight or maybe fifteen, sixteen, so you won't be able to have this problem. See here, so the bleed that actually helps you to remove those visual bugs. Okay, that's pretty much all you need to do for the basic settings. Okay, if you guys like my videos, then please do subscribe to my video channels, and I will do more tutorials in the future. And yeah, thank you for watching my video. See you next time.